What? Meet Kent, Ryan, and Terry. We're just three random dudes who get together every Saturday to talk about our two favorite things in life, coffee and Star Wars. We call it Java Java Java. Hey everybody, welcome back to Java Java Java. I'm Terry, and with me as always are Kent and Ryan. Hey guys. I think I got that backwards, but no, that's okay. We're just going to roll matter. with that. It doesn't matter. <laughs> All right. This week on Java Java Java, our episode is brought to you by the fine people at Ragamuffin Roasters in Thousand Oaks, California. That's right. It's our first time stepping outside of the confines of Charlotte, North Carolina, and checking out more of the coffees that are offered abroad. I just spent two weeks out there where I discovered this place, and the people there were amazing. It's uh, one of several locations that Ragamuffins has in that general area in Ventura County in California. And I can just tell you guys, the coffee there was just exquisite. Uh, so much so that I saw fit to buy this really amazing mug. Right. It keeps it hot for so long. I mean, legitimately, two hours after I got a cup of coffee in this thing, it was still warm. Wow. Spoiler, yeah. I'm going to steal that from you before you leave. It can happen because I <laughs> because I brought a lot of stuff with me and I might just forget something. Um, brought He's home with me. Hot. Yeah. Brought home with me this Guatemala Finca de Dios. It's the Finca de Dios is the name of the farm in which it's, uh, in which it's grown. Uh, the roast is... What did we say? There's a cinnamon bun. Cinnamon. Nectarine. Nectarine. And has a white wine finish. Boom. That's right. We've reached the day when we're starting to describe coffee the way we describe wine. That just that just means it's good. That's it. Like, you don't drink... How's your coffee? Strong. That's that's not good enough anymore. It's just got to have some flavors in there. And I, I think yeah. we... That's what we've been doing. On, we're visiting all these coffee shops. We're finding... Uh, different blends, different roasts, and um, they're they're pretty good. Yeah, yeah, coffee's way more than just black and white. There's a lot more subtlety and nuance going on with it these days than, Except when, for than when I was growing up. I drinking. like my coffee strong. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why you put the creamer in it? Yeah, and sugar. Yeah. Oh, and sugar. Okay. I'm just looking. There's so much stuff I've got to reach through here. I'm so, going uh, black coffee for me. So yeah, if you happen to be in the Ventura County area or live there or whatever, and you haven't stopped by Ragamuffin Roasters, then uh, give them a shot. Their food's also really good. Uh, they just started open up in the Thousand Oaks location on Sunday, so you have that to look forward to. Um, we'll put some links down below. You guys, websites, Thanks. Instagram, that kind of stuff for them. Thanks. So you check them out. Ask for V. I think she's the manager at the Thousand Oaks location, and she's awesome. Um, so yeah, that's about it for the coffee. Yay, coffee! Yeah. We always need more coffee, mm -hmm. and uh, we'd like to hear from you guys. Like we drink dark coffees, right? We mix it up. Yeah. Uh, typically black. How do you like your coffee? Do you have a favorite blend locally? Let us know in the comment section down below. Yeah, please uh, guide us. We need to know where to go. Where is there somewhere we should check out? Mm -hmm. That'd be cool too. Yeah. So well, you had uh, you spent a couple weeks in California before I did. you got this. There was a, a side. A side adventure, a quest was a, it a little quest? bit. It was a it was a bit of a quest. Was it a quest? Yeah, it was, it it was, was a journey. Journey. It was an adventure. Oh, uh, yeah. It was all these things and more. It was actually something I waffled back and forth on too, because I was like, do I want to go? Do I not want to go? Because it was quite a haul right. from where I was based to go to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge at Disneyland Resorts in Anaheim, California. Um, wow, and that was just way more fun than I anticipated. I, yeah. My jealousy factor is way up here. <laughs> You'll get to go. Like way, I, well, I'm yeah. going. No, yeah. no doubt about it. But the fact that you got... I, I, I'm jealous. I'm just going to say it because you blew up our uh, messenger group with photos. And I was like, That's true. no, I yeah. want all of that stuff. And uh, I have a feeling that it would be way helpful to hit the lottery before going. Yes. Um that's the yeah. thing, and that's the one thing that I notice more. So, you know, you see, you, you see a lot of these advertisements, um, a lot of these, uh, the, a lot of these websites, these YouTube videos talking about, say, Smuggler's Run, or the new ride that just launched, Rise of the Resistance, which didn't even get close. I rolled into the parking lot at eight o'clock in the morning. And it took me like 20, 30 minutes to get parked and walk to security. By the time I got to security, all the rides for that day were sold out. And by eight o five, they had already wow. shut Ooh. down the ride. For the entire day, and so, I don't think I don't think all those people even got to ride. So if I'm going in December, I should just go ahead and book, book a turn. Start camping right wow. now. Yeah, just pitch a tent and just hang out until wow. until the day up. Luckily, I want I just want to go buy a bunch of Star Wars stuff. So I'm good. well, fortunately, then you're good to go because <laughs> basically what you're doing, if you don't want to spend the whole day at Disneyland and take advantage, then you're shelling out 150 bucks for a shopping experience. 
I'm okay with that's it. That's it. That's it. You're for a, for a high volume day. The yeah. ticket price is $150, yeah. and that'll get you into the door of Disneyland. And you can wander around. You can do Space Mountain. You can do uh, Frontierland. What all those different lands that exist, like uh, Tomorrowland. Cool. Um, so that's like Disneyland if I was resorts. to go to Walmart and they charge me $50 to walk in, that's and it. then I could buy something. Yeah. Uh, that's a pretty good business model. And once you walk in the door, then it's just like, ah! Yeah, it's just so much cool stuff for you to spend your money on. Yeah. So, uh, and as you can see, I brought a few of those items here with me today. Um, the thing that really caught me the most, that off guard, I had no idea to expect it, was this. You might guys might recognize this is the Sindula family Calicori from Star Wars Rebels, the animated series, and has everything that came with that particular artifact that was represented so so upfront in right. uh, so it became such a special focus right up to the point leading up to the death of a major character who's represented by this little edition down here you might notice how it's also colored a little bit it's highlighted a little bit more so that it really pops really stands out just like it did at the end of that episode huge huge fan of this piece um yeah there was no way that i was walking away without it uh, I have to have one. 130 bucks. Yeah, I, I need yeah. one. Um, but it's all resin. It's very solid. It's not wood. Uh, it looks wood, but it's not. Um, from a shelf, probably looks great on camera. From a shelf, um, it's going to look amazing. You know, really looking forward. I to agree. That. I mean, just sitting here, you know, a couple feet away from it, it looks wood. They've got little notches in it to make it look like it's you know had old you know scratches and like the the lumber. But uh, mm -hmm. it's painted well, patina well. Uh, I, I I'd recommend getting it. And when I go, I will. I, I need one. What do you think, Kent? Straight out of Clone Wars. Rebels. Rebels. <laughs> Straight out of Rebels. Yeah, man. It's great. Uh, that's funny. I, I love the way they minus, did it. Minus yeah. five points. Yeah. We're keeping score. That's good. Minus awesome. five points. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think that, okay, I think that um, the the grain of it just looks totally alien to me, which is great because it just makes you think that it was carved from like a rocher tree or something mm -hmm. like that and instead of a an earthbound, um, earthbound tree. But yeah, that's cool. Um, I think it another one of the uh, things that they feature up front and center in um, when talking about Galaxy's Edge is the experience of building your own lightsaber at Savi's uh, lightsaber yeah, workshop. Yeah, that's a big deal. It is a big deal. Yeah. Uh, when I got and I had a I had an appointment booked hmm. and I checked out a couple of videos online. I grew skeptical when I saw the lightsabers, so I canceled my appointment. Um, was wondering how I felt about that in my decision when I got there. So I checked out somebody's lightsaber up close. I just accosted some poor guy. Hey, let me see that thing you got in the bag there. <laughs> right. And he was generous enough to pull out his lightsaber and show it to me. Did you tell him you were that first sounded order? so much different in my <laughs> head. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, that's, that's, no. Nope. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> um, nope. Yeah. Nope. Nope. So we're he, not going there. So he, he, he let me, he let me just check out um, the saber that he built at Savi's and it just wasn't for me. It was a little bit oversized. Mm -hmm. um, it had it had that heft to it, and it had a good feel to it. Right. But it just didn't feel the same way as the, some of the other lightsabers that I have at home. So I just I, I feel like I made the right call. If you want the experience and to shell out two hundred dollars and build your own lightsaber at Galaxy's Edge, more power to you. A lot of people are having a lot of fun with it. A lot of people are doing it multiple times. Right. So it may it, it's not my thing, but it's probably it could very well be your thing. It's somebody's. Case, yeah, I'd yeah. encourage you to do it. Yeah. But for my money, I decided to go for Legacy. Now, here's the cool thing. Here's the interesting thing. They have a really awesome store there. With all this is where I, this store is where I found this. Right. Um, so many other great items that you can buy there. But uh, in addition to this, you can also get what they call the Legacy Sabers, and those are the pre-assembled lightsabers that are meant to replicate lightsabers from the films, and they are gorgeous. Uh, the one that I chose to go with, obviously, is a limited run. It is the Ben Solo uh, lightsaber, which has a blink and you'll miss it appearance. Oh, in, wow. Yeah, blink and you'll miss it appearance in The Last Jedi. Right. In two different, um, oh, flashback sequences, right? Right, yeah. yeah. From and, a certain point of view. From a certain point of view. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, uh, I'm jealous. I'm, I'm jealous of that one, too. Not going <laughs> to lie. It looks fantastic. It's, uh, you know, you can, get the, you can get the blades with them. Right. But I opted not to. I just want the hilt. I just want to have this thing on display. I've got a couple of sabers that have blades, and that's fine. That's They're, the one downfall of the Black Series blades. You can't remove the the blade. Uh, most of them you can't, yeah. And I'm like, well, that 
Well, none like, of them you can. The Black Series, you can't. You're right. The ones you get at, Gal- at Disney, you can. Mm-hmm. I think there's a Ray uh, from Force Awakens, maybe. They had a, a saber in there. Maybe it's last year. You can remove the blade. But uh, but I'm with you. I just want to display the hilt. Yep. I mean, I'm, I'm not I'm not going to walk around my house swinging a lightsaber, making all kinds of crazy sounds, generally. Me uh, neither. But so uh, for display purposes, to if I had to display it and the blade was stuck on there, it looks more like a toy. Right? That's true. That's and true. And so when you take that out, then it actually looks like a prop replica yeah. versus a toy. And I think that's why I like the hilts more than I, I wouldn't buy the blades either. Mm, exactly. Yeah, you make you excellent points for all of that. Yeah. And, Especially and Ahsoka's, where you got to buy two blades, or mm. Darth Maul, or whatever. You got to buy Ventress the or whatever. The blades, I think, are an yeah. additional thirty bucks. Yeah. yeah. So you're talking, um, you know, you're out the door for $185 after taxes for a lightsaber with a blade. Yeah. For my money, $140 plus tax. Then you've got yourself a gorgeous hilt. Uh, you know, I could nitpick this. The color, the patina on this is wrong. It should be more of a golden finish. Mm-hmm. Um, probably could be a little bit more, um, probably could have done with a wash. Is this, this supposed to be like a heat hood. transfer here? Yeah, you see how it's not. Yeah, yeah, you see how it's not really blending all that right, well. Right, yeah. right. So if I wanted to nitpick, then I probably could. But from a distance, it's still going to look amazing on a shelf. I'm yeah. pretty happy with it. So, uh, and you could certainly bash somebody in the head with it if you had to. Yeah, without a blade. I mean, feel that. Yeah, it's it's, uh, it's uh, you. This could be a legit weapon. It's a good club. It's um, yeah. they're not going to let you carry that into a nightclub. No, they wouldn't let me do that. But it's uh, it's pretty cool. I yeah. dig it. So you got all kinds of cool stuff in there, and I saw the like the photos he was sending. There were so much stuff, and I was like, oh, I need that, I need that, I need that, I need that, and um, it would be hard to choose. In fact, I think I'm going to go ahead and post those photos on the Java Java Job um, uh, Facebook page. Do it. Cool. And, Insta- it and Instagram. So those are going up. That'll be the first uh, Instagram. inaugural inaugural Java Java Job photos. Our, that's right. Our social media is actually set to, uh, it's almost set to go live uh, throughout the course of the next week or two. You'll just see content slowly starting to build as we gain momentum and start generating stuff on a more regular basis. Yep. Um, so that, anyway, that's all I've got. I mean, obviously I picked up like a Sabak deck, so we're going to play cards after we shoot this episode. Chance cubes. You can buy chance. Yeah, I just happen to have some chance cubes here. Wow. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do, you, do they, can you like wave them and they... You know, use the force on them. And oh, I can. Them. Oh. I, I can. I don't know about you. Yeah. <laughs> I can. Kent, can you? Yeah. Do you have? Are you strong with the force? Yeah. Let's find out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah chance cubes. So yeah, Galaxy's Edge. I yeah, love show it. Show and man. tell. Yeah, how, how long did it take? You? Was this like an all-day event just for shopping? No, I sw- I was there for about four hours. Okay. Yeah. I um. I took all the stuff. I had a, two big bags full of stuff by the time it got done. I mean, the box that this came in was huge. The yeah. box that this came in was also fairly large. Right. Uh, I got tired of carrying it around, um, so I took it back to my car. I had yeah. planned on just like going to a movie, maybe seeing Rise of Skywalker at Disneyland, but there's no theater in the park. Uh, but, so I would have to leave and then come back and pay to park again. I didn't want to mess with that. Nobody wants to do that. So I went home. You know, it's fine. I, I, um, I saw the park. The architecture is gorgeous. The Millennium Falcon is everything that they say it is. Um, Did Smuggler's you? Run, I, I was a single rider, so I rode it like five times within an hour. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, did you uh, did you get uh, accosted by any troopers? No. In fact, I stalked them trying to get accosted by them. Wow, and uh, nice. apparently they didn't see me as much of a threat. More <laughs> fools they. Yeah, I, uh, just, wow. You know, I had my phone out because there's... Now, what I did find out was that the troopers, by following them for as long as I did, is that their dialogue is on a cycle. Oh, so right. these guys that are under the helmet, yeah. so to speak. I guess this is our today's edition of Under the Helmet. Under the Helmet. Boom! That's right. I was, I was curious about this. So yeah. So under so under the helmet, you've got guys just manning the suits, walking around, and they're pantomiming basically mm-hmm. um, the dialogue that is automatically generated from the speakers in their helmets. And it, it again, it is on a cycle. So if you follow them long enough, you're going to hear them say the same things over and over. Like, you know, what are you doing with that data pad, citizen? And then there's a pause, and which, at which time they say, "All right, but I've got my eye on you," or something like that. Right. And and then it just uh, goes. Even on to if the next there's thing. nobody there, it just automatically on a timer. Even if yeah. Wow. Yeah. So they, but I think that they must have some sort of heads-up display going on, or maybe some sort of audio cue in their helmet to let them know that it's about to, what it's about to say next. Oh. Okay. So they know to find somebody with a cell phone. Nice. You know, so they look for, they seek out somebody with a cell phone who's taking their photo and then they walk up to them and they get in their face. Wow. So you're yeah. clearly not a threat. Clearly I'm not a threat. There yeah. you go. Or maybe, or maybe they saw, I don't know, maybe the goatee Maybe they thought you were much. one of them. Yeah, I'm looking more menacing now with the with the facial hair. So uh, they're like, no, I don't want to give this guy any trouble. That's right. a requirement for That's Java the Java secret Java. for winning against the first order is facial hair. Boom. Yeah. Yeah. 
I like it. That's cool. I, I was curious about that because uh, the interactions they, have, especially the interactions they have, the uh, videos like with little kids, mm -hmm. they're great. Yeah, yeah. they're great. To be honest, the yeah. the stormtroopers that are walking around the park are they they sell it just as much as the amazing architecture does. Wow. So I mean, the putting aside the whole pre recorded nature of it, that it's not ad libbed or off the cuff, that doesn't detract from the experience at all. Yeah, cool. it's really awesome. It's really on point. And, I'm ready. Um, yeah. Let's go now. I'm out of here. All right. Yeah. Episode's over, people. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready to yeah. go. I'm ready to go now. I'll, I'll tell the wife and the dogs. Like, we got to go. I'm going to Florida. Uh, very cool. Yeah, so he got to go to Galaxy's Edge, which is amazing. But now you're back. Yes. And then something happened, like, I, on your flight back, maybe. I don't, when did they release the uh, the new trailer? There's a thing. Oh. There's a thing. It was the day before I left. Is it the day before? Yeah. Uh, holy hype, Batman. Yeah. Wow, like and we knew we we knew that it was coming in February, but we didn't know we were going to get another trailer like like this. This was like emotional. It was in the words of yeah. uh, Terry's. It was everything. It was everything. <laughs> it was everything. It was, it was so everything. It was. Um, I enjoyed it. Such a um, okay. I don't even know how to begin dissecting this trailer um, because so much was revealed. But so much that I thought would be revealed wasn't there. So right. it, it starts raising the question, what aren't we going to see that we thought we were going to see in Season 7? Right. Um, there's no sign of Asajj Ventress. Nope. Okay. Um, it's all Ahsoka, pretty it's much. It's all Ahsoka and, yeah. and Maul. Yeah, Ahsoka and Maul. Maul. Yep. And Mandalorians. And, and yeah, we got to have some Mandos. Okay. So that's a, I guess that's probably where we ought to spring from. All right. Okay. Let's jump. So let's start with um, anybody sick of Mandalorians. No. Oh, clear. oh yeah. By the way, we probably should have just pointed out, you know, in case nobody saw it. But yeah. But anyway, <laughs> there's a there's a there's, yeah. a there's a there's a helmet over there. That's that's Don't okay. We got that, that out of the way. <laughs> Don't worry about that guy. What's under the helmet? Yeah. Nothing at this point. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> he said he made the noise. Terry. Terry and that, that was me. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. It's um. Yeah. Let's let's talk about Clone War season seven because it's um. The hype is real. It's real. It's not. And this is interesting because we had a little bit of a lull in the Star Wars fandom ish on the hype, or like social media, that kind of stuff. And then we got um, Rise of Skywalker. It's kind of going up there. Right before Rise of Skywalker, we had Mando, and the Mando oh. hype is like through the flipping roof. Uh, we get a little bit of a break, and then and that's like Disney went saying, "Bam, here we go. You want some more Star Wars? Here you go. We're ready for you." And uh, and holy cow, I can't. It, I can't wait. Yeah. And well, I know we're going to have to watch it one episode at a time like we did Mando. So that kind of yeah, stinks. Yeah. Like we can't binge watch I'm it. I'm not going to wait. I'm not going to wait and binge. No, I can't. I I can't no. Well, we have to talk about it here. So you so can't. I'll, I'll watch it <laughs> weekly. And then at the end of week, we'll have they confirmed how many episodes it's going to be? I don't Will think it be so. 8, 10, 12? I don't know. Well, regardless, I'll wait. However, I'll watch it weekly and then I'll binge it yeah. as a whole. It's going to be great. Time. Can't wait. So, we, so as we said, we can dissect this into three separate elements. The first element, the most obvious element being Ahsoka Tano and the clones. Right. So what's going on there? She, well, you know, she left the Jedi Order uh, season five of Clone Wars, right? So she's like, hey, uh, I'm, I'm no longer a Jedi. I'm out. You know, I gotta, I have to live without the Jedi and I have to live without Anakin. I'm, I'm not doing my thing. So she's out doing her thing. Um, and so she's been off world on some outer rim, uh, according to her book, she's been on the outer rim, kind of living out there. Oh yeah. I haven't. I haven't finished the book. Just throwing that out there. Spoiler alert. Spoiler. Haven't yeah. finished. No spoilers for Ryan. I'm, I haven't read it at all. So. Uh, I'm. I'm in the beginning, and in the beginning of the book, she's off world, trying to live under the radar, under an assumed name. So mm -hmm. that's kind of interesting. So she's trying to just be herself. So can we talk about that for a second. Yeah. 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 Um, we can. It's interesting. I, uh, you know what? No, let's continue. We can bring this up later. Yeah. This is, I don't want to go too it's, far off. Uh, of so she's north, but she's obviously out. And again, I haven't made it far in the book, so I don't know what happens. Uh, but clearly here, she's had some interactions with uh, the clone commanders, like Rex, right? Uh, yep. in, in the trailer, she's interacting with Rex, and it appears, you know, in the in the beginning of, in the beginning of this book, it talks about how um, she was off. Uh, in, in fact, in the beginning of the book, she's uh, fighting Maul. In the beginning of the book, oh, she's fighting Maul, and Maul's like teasing her 
about how she's no longer a Jedi. I don't think he actually knows what's going on. Part timer. Yeah, part timer, yeah. right? And yeah. so she's having a, a kind of interaction, that battle going on. Um, but the clone, even though she had no longer, she was no longer Padawan, she was no longer a commander, all that kind of stuff. The mm -hmm. clones in the beginning of the book were um, were following her just as if she still was because of her experience. Right. And so I think that maybe where we're at with this uh, with this trailer with uh, Rex in there and these other clones. So is, she's got clones with her in the book. Yeah. It, well. So far, in so the beginning. The question, my question beginning. is that: is do they? So is the book leading into the the show, or I have the no show idea. leading into the book? I don't know. <laughs> I haven't made it very far. I don't know. Interesting. But it's a. I have it on Audible, so I'm listening to a Ashley Eckstein's actually narrating it, ah, which makes well, it my, even better. My wife is out of yeah. town for the next four days, so yeah. I might have that same experience. I yeah. might just go ahead and put that on the background when I'm I, writing. When I saw it was uh, Ashley Eckstein narrating it, I was like, done. I, it's kind I, of a done deal. Yeah, it's like it. Yeah. So it's been out for years. I just have it. Mm -hmm. Taking the time to read it, so uh, I want to check that out. But it's um, we got we got Rex, who's clearly there. We've got other clones going in there. Mm. We've got like we were talking about prior. We got the Bad Batch, so we've got clones all over the yes. place. Yeah, um, and I, I don't I don't know where it's gonna go. It's I don't know. Well, at it's, some point she has to be recruited by uh, Bo Katan. Like we see that exchange between the two of them. So. Yeah, something's going on there, right? So the question is, how does Bo Katan find? out about Ahsoka to recruit her for this battle. Hmm. Right. What do you think? Um, I wonder if maybe Obi-Wan yeah. does uh, Bo Katan huh. getting Obi-Wan off planet there in uh, Clone Wars. Maybe he could be the piece that kind of puts them together. Yep. Very I hadn't big. even thought about that. I'd forgotten about the connection between Obi Wan and Bogota. And Obi Wan's kind of does things under the table when it comes to Mandalore, specifically Satine. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Like Satine is his that was his weakness clearly. His, uh, his um, dirty little secret. His dirty little secret, right? So uh, yeah, I uh, it very well could be dirty little secret. <laughs> It very well could Today's be. This garbage cover is brought to you by. <laughs> <laughs> it could be that uh, that Kenobi talked with Bo-Katan about uh, about uh, Ahsoka, and it could be that she kind of helped him when they let. I don't. It could, it's all kinds of options there. Yeah. Because again, there's no link to the Jedi knowing about what spoilers what Sidious did to Maul. So in Obi Wan's mind, there's still got to be some unfinished business there because when he left. Duchess Sadine was murdered. Right. Maul was overrunning Mandalore, so he's got to have his sights still looking that way. Right. Mm. Yeah. He. I don't think he's one that would just let that slide. I mean, he killed his girlfriend for all intents and purposes. That's why Sadine, oh, right? He exactly killed his girlfriend. So, I mean, I'm just saying, <laughs> even though they weren't supposed to have attachments, yeah. you know, whatever, even Kenobi said, yeah, well, relationships. Hot. Relationships exist in a gray area. There's, yeah. It's a sliding scale. There's it no is. black or white. You're either in a relationship, you're not. Right. It's, you know, he clearly was. He was clearly, you know, they weren't intimate. They they weren't coupled up, anything like that. But there was definitely something between oh, the two yeah. of them. There and was to connection. have that ripped from him, the way that it was right right in front of him was... and maul planned it that way specifically yeah. to hurt him yeah. and which it did uh and um, but here's a here's an interesting thing. we got maul in this in this narrating this trailer we know maul doesn't die in season seven of clone wars because he has to survive rebels rebels for kenobi to kill him later so um what's his role in all this it, it, it almost sounds like from the trailer that he's like the mastermind of what's playing all these chess pieces, but we know it's not him. It's got to be yeah. Emperor, you know? Sidious had um, right. yeah, Sidious told him that he had some plans, some plans for him. right. I think we're going to find out what those but, plans are. But it just occurs to me that there is a comic book series out there, a Darth Maul comic book series that launched fairly closely to the end of Clone Wars, yeah. in which Maul escapes the custody of Sidious. Is Correct. that the Sons of Dathmir? Is yes. that that four? four Darth, Maul, son of, Darth Maul, Son of Dathmir. Yeah. Go check it out. So I think I'm, I'm, this just occurred to me. This wasn't part of the discussion that was planned in, in my head, at the very least. Legends now. But uh, this kind of derails the whole everything that we kind of thought we understood about what was going on with Maul because he's jumping off of... Um, is that considered Legends now? I believe it's Legends now. It was right oh. in that area of them finishing up Clone Wars mm. and everything. That's when he was, uh, yeah, him, him right and the Dark Saber and him doing his thing with, uh, yeah, because they could just throw that out the window and say we're going to do something completely different. That that could be the thing. Was Son of Death and you're under the Marvel banner? 
Um, I don't believe so. I think that was some that was Dark Horse? last Dark Horse. Then that would be considered Legends. So yep. that doesn't necessarily negate it because we've seen other right. elements of Legends being brought into the... Clearly. Yeah, into the Disney umbrella. As we saw with the Knights of Ren and the yeah. Legions. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So... so I don't so know. I think it's possible that we might that we might still see elements of because Son of Dathomir I want to say was something that was meant to be a Clone Closure. Wars epi- a Clone Wars series. Right. There were going to be several episodes. So that if they kept Clone Wars as canon the way that they did, and if that's considered to be part of the Clone Wars saga, then that would still remain under the uh, under the umbrella. And we saw some of that in uh, the video game. Some which, of the which aftermath. Which video game? The the newest the Fallen one. Order. Yeah, Fallen yeah? Order. Okay. Uh, which I no, still have yet to finish, by the way. We saw it's a commitment, and some I think of, we can all forgive you for not having gotten through it. He's been busy. He's been sick. You know. I yeah. had the Mandalorian flu. Yeah, I'll be playing it a lot over the course of the next four days. But, Obviously, uh, the Empire crushed Athamir, though. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, not the not even the Empire. It was a. Uh, Droid army. Yeah, the droid army they did. It was General Grievous. It was the the Confederacy of uh, Independent Systems. So. Bunch of jerks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Lowe's. going back to Maul. The same people. Um, you know, and, 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 and this this Ahsoka and the clones. There's so much meat in that they dropped in the trailers. It makes you think, what have they not told us? Like, clearly there's a lot we haven't seen yet. Yeah. So if it's, if it's like half as good as what they've teased in the trailers... Mm-hmm. Uh, it's going to be amazing. Yeah, the stuff that they haven't shown us. One of the things that I thought we'd see and didn't was Asajj Ventress. My my hope was that uh, that they would actually play out her finish her arc. finish her arc. But they did that in a in novelize they did a novelization of that story. So mm. maybe they're just leaving it at that. I if, don't know if that's the case. I'd that like lends that lends a little bit more credibility to my idea that uh, that Maul's story in Son of Dathomir is still considered canon. So maybe that's just the path that they're choosing to take. We shall see. Come back in uh, six weeks, and we'll see if we're right. We'll let you know. (laughs) We don't know. Six weeks and more. We have no idea. Uh, But we've got got, uh, the Bad Batch. Mm. Got those guys, which look amazing. So, by the way, make uh, buy me toys like the, we, uh-huh, yeah. Just uh, make all of. We were just d- discussing the poster back here, which is the the Clone Wars uh, poster, and we just said just make all of them. Just everything on that poster. Just make yeah. them all six inch uh, hot toys figures, six scale. I don't care. We just make make all of them. Can't do you have something you're looking forward to on a toy, in toy from? Uh well, if you could get a toy from Clone Wars at this point, any toy from Clone Wars, let's not even limit it to season seven. Oh, boom! Wow. Is there something that you would uh, that you definitely would uh, jump out, put pull out all the stops, and just stop what you're doing, head straight out and buy it? Um, I would do a kid fat. I like uh, really? some of the some of the younger stuff that they did with him. I thought it was kind of cool. Uh, again, he seemed a little bit bratty, but what kid mm-hmm. in the Star Wars universe isn't a little bratty? Right. From a psychological perspective, I think that his behavior was totally acceptable and totally understandable. Uh, his his father slash clone right. uh, ripped from him when he was at a very young age, right in front of his eyes by the Jedi. Um, so his whole bratty attitude towards Jedi, totally understandable. Yeah, yeah And I so. like the episodes where uh, he's like, I'm just going to go take out yeah. Mace Windu. Yeah. Like, those mm-hmm. two episodes are pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah he's, uh, he's definitely brash. Definitely yeah. brash. Uh, I'd love to see. I'm throwing this out there. I want a six scale uh, General Kenobi and uh, and Anakin, like from Clone Wars. Yeah, not the original uh, Tartakovsky design like they have in every format, most no. recently in Black Series six inch. No, you I have, want. I, yeah. I have that one. No, yeah. I want the. I want, I want the Kenobi from Clone Wars because he's flipping amazing. Like before I watched Clone Wars, Kenobi was the old man, right? He That's was right, right there. Yeah. And then in Clone Wars. He is like, that's him in his prime. It's yep. brilliant. Yeah, he's straight up just this strategy tactician. He's a diplomat, warrior, uh, negotiator, mm-hmm. warrior. He's the and full package. He is a hundred percent, and he's funny. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it makes the he's old so man funny. amazing that he gave up all that stuff. In fact, uh, he's, and so, he's, he's sly. He's you know? so awesome that I had to get his autograph. Uh, I have James James Arnold, Arnold Taylor ladies Taylor's and gentlemen. autograph right here. Yeah. We met him in Atlanta. I had to get his autograph, and super nice guy. He's a character. Uh, um, this right here, uh, yeah, I just, yeah, I, yeah. I just want them all out. I, I want 
six scale figures of the animated series. Whether we get them or not, I don't, I don't know. But Or even statues. I'll take statues. I don't care. Just give me something to represent Clone Wars that's not a three and three quarter inch black series. This guy has no standards. Just I, give him whatever and just, in whatever. I don't man. care, man. Give me a freaking t-shirt. Send me something. Bring something. So that's me. What about you? Me? Yeah, you. Oh, everything. Okay. Yeah. Well. I, I also have no standards. <laughs> just, just give me something six scale. Uh, I think... Um, I'm getting to a point in my collection where um, I do not want what I haven't got. I'm, <laughs> that's I don't know how true Ooh. that is, but I'm getting to the point where I'm I'm content. Um, most of the characters that I know and love have been represented in in some way or another. Now, true, there's new stuff coming out, so new characters are being revealed. I'm definitely looking forward to Mando and IG-11, as we've talked about in previous episodes. But right. for the sake of buy me toys, if I was going to make a request, then it would. Just off the top of my head, I'm gonna say some sort of a Sokotano 12-inch figure. Yeah, you know, I really, I mean, I've got her in six-inch from the Black Series, it, and it's cool. It's cool, but it's not, it's not. Yeah, yeah it's, it's not there. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm with you on that. Yeah, so, there, I mean, there's some restrictions inherent with uh, with six-scale figure construction that might, especially with yeah. the tail thing and the whole, mm -hmm. the yeah, that's gonna be. A little, I don't want. Yeah, teen, I, want, I don't want tween Ahsoka. Right. I don't even know that I want Tina Soka. I would really appreciate a more adult version of Ahsoka. Yeah. Um, because mostly because her costume. So mainly from Rebels. Point, yeah, mainly from Rebels. Yeah. But I think her costume at that point covers what would be the exposed joints. Sure. So yeah, you don't have to deal. You don't have to contend with that. Yeah. I mean that's and I know that one way to contend with exposed joints is to do a seamless figure body. Yeah. Not sold on those. Yeah. There's. I, I'm telling you, there's no longevity to a seamless figure body. No. It's It's a temporary thing at best. Buy three and keep yeah. one when they when they die. Yeah. Uh, I, I I'd be good with a statue. I'm good with a, I'm good with that. I don't care. Uh, just something so I can represent in a good form. Uh, that's not a six-inch Black Series figure, which that's, I do have. That Sideshow Mythos uh, Asajj Ventress. Yes, I pre-ordered, by the yeah. way. Just okay. throwing. I got that one. I haven't, I'm not sold on the Emperor yet. I haven't sold on the, the Floating Emperor, but the Asajj Ventress, I, I definitely have that. Yeah, stay um, tuned. I've got some ideas for that. Because um, I now have the six-inch um, uh, Emperor. Oh, right. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, I do. Right? It's on its way the to six me right scale? Now. The six-scale? Yeah, yeah. I, the six-scale. Yeah, he's back there. Yeah, he's but I'm going to be doing some stuff with that that's me. kind of like like thinking outside of the box and um, and cool. just taking it to the extreme. But uh, I'm, there's a round of photos that's on its way from that uh, I'm really Stay looking forward to Stay tuned off. to the Pose Master General. Oh, that's it. They don't like that name. Oh, well, that's your, that's yeah. your name. <laughs> <laughs> they want to call me the Professor of Pose. Professor of Pose. Straight up, they want to call me the Professor of Pose. So maybe wow. we should maybe we should put this to the test. Um, I don't know. If anybody's watching, if anybody cares, go ahead and drop your preference down there. Do you prefer Pose Master General or do you prefer we'll put Professor a, of Pose? I'll, we'll put a poll. Wait yeah. a minute, it's beyond. It's beyond that. We'll put yeah. a poll okay. up there. Poll. You can yeah. vote. Do a poll. It's up I'm, there. I'm kind of curious myself. I want to like I I like Pose Master General, but uh, Professor of Pose doesn't suck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like yeah. That, is that the, is that the standard? That doesn't suck. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. It's, out of, my, it's out of my control. It's their show. Oh, you know? that's funny. That's I good. just I just lease it. Anyways, there we go. Anyways, yeah. that was a definite tangent. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, but so we talked about um, so we talked about clones, uh, Maul, um, the Bad Batch. You guys want to talk about them for a second? Yeah, for what little we know. Yeah, um, not that we know a whole lot. What, so, do you know anything about? What do you know about the Bad Batch? I just keep thinking that they're going to be the guys from that uh, Rebel, uh, what was it, the Republic game? Oh, there is one of them. Yeah. Gregor. That's uh, that's always what I think of when uh, when I think of the Bad Batch is playing mm -hmm. that uh, Republic where that you got to be the clone troopers and you're like running around all the levels and it's like doom. At the right. time that that game came out, that was some that of the most fun. fun that I've ever had doing Star I played Wars. I that game. Oh, yeah. it's fun. <laughs> yeah. Devoured it. In fact, I, I just recently rebought it as the uh, backwards compatible oh, nice. uh, game on Xbox. I haven't touched it yet, but I've got it. Um, so yeah, that's so yeah. Gregor is indeed one of the bad Rebel batch. Commandos. That's it. Republic Commandos. Yeah. Yeah. Republic, Republic Commandos. Commandos. That was it. That was it. Thank you. I was having. I was struggling with that too. But Gregor is one of them. Uh, another one is Fives. Fives. Yeah. CT. No, I'm five. sorry. Echo. No. Echo. It was Echo. Echo. Yeah. Echo. Like CT five 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 five. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Echo. But Echo is another one, and I think that the others are. I'm unfamiliar with who they are. I think they're just new. You know, they don't have. They haven't. 
don't have names yet that we know or, or mm. whatever, but they were clearly from, um, you know, there was like a half animated thing going on. They teased way back when. Yeah, they did like um, an animatic version of it. They released yeah. it. Uh, they released the story in, in total on the StarWars.com website. Right. You could yeah. watch it there. Yeah. But it was just the rough, rough animatic that yeah. they used to, uh, that they used to have right there on screen when the uh, when the voice actors are doing it was work. still better than I could have done yeah. like so I, they, they had audio <laughs> they had all the voiceover work done right. so they just released it like that as a rough so we're going to see those guys uh, and I would definitely see um, I could definitely see Hasbro <laughs> definitely dropping those as six inch figures um, uh, so definitely stay tuned for that yeah. we got those we got the Mandos uh, with new helmets, so well, it's not really the Mandos it's the 501st right 501st with Mando yeah. helmets yeah. That's what it looks like. Jetpacks. Jetpacks. Well, Rex had a jetpack, though, right? Rex had jetpacks. They, like, they look like generic. Uh, I'm looking at them right back here on this thing, and you, the, this poster you have on your wall, and it looks like uh, looks like just helmets, like clone helmets. They're with, just painted. Uh, they're just painted uh, with them. Uh, oh, with the same motif as um, Ahsoka's tattoos. Yeah. The pattern on her on her head. Yeah. yeah. And I think, um, I, yeah, I think I think you're probably right about that. And uh, which means. We don't flip and know, but it means that That's Ahsoka cool. is going to be leading the 501st or maybe a section of the 501st. A contingent of the 501st. You know, a at detachment. Least, at least five or six of them. Uh, at least. So, uh, I don't know. And Rex is also in the poster. Yep. Um, so And he's in the trailer. So, I, so we have, so seen, much good we have stuff. a couple of possibilities. Yeah. One is that there... Because if she's detached from the Jedi, then the Jedi have approached her and said, we have a mission that we can't touch. Here's a detachment of clones. Please go and do this for us. Mm -hmm. So that's one possibility. The other possibility is that this is a detachment of clones that sensed what was coming thanks to what happened to Fives. Right. Removed their chips. Chips, yeah. And bolted from the Republic and went in to start doing work with Ahsoka. So she had her own clone. Could be. They just said, I'm out. Detachment. Yeah, yeah. At her disposal. It, we're definitely going to get some viewpoints of, of the war from the clones, as we saw from, it, it had to be Rex, I would think, speaking mm -hmm. about, you know, their, what they have pros and cons for the war or whatever. Right. Uh, you know, without the war, we wouldn't exist. That kind of exactly. quote from the trailer. Um, so this is going to be interesting to see how the clones actually come into this. Because one thing, and I've been watching Clone Wars, telling you guys, I've been watching this thing. Um, the, the Empire's goal... Uh, or the, uh, the originally the Republic's goal for having this clone army was they all be the same, they all be generic, they'd all just be mindless drones and doing and just follow orders and they would be awesome. Better than droids. Better than droids. Time, independently functioning enough that and, they could perform better than droids. And the problem was just like uh, Goldblum said in Jurassic Park, life will find a way. Yes. Uh, every clone has individual traits and it would disobey this and this one would go left and this one went right and they all did their own things. They all painted their helmets and armor differently. Mm -hmm. They all had individual personalities um, and uh, they had to it took them a while to figure out their own personalities as we saw with the uh, the domino squad yes. they finally got their names right mm -hmm. um, but uh, it's like, it's like, it's like these... each and every one becomes independently self-aware exactly at his own pace at his own pace yeah. and uh, they, they were all influenced make decisions. by their generals mm -hmm. too they were absolutely influenced by generals yeah. and then uh, these guys here who maybe followed off to Ahsoka may have just seen how awesome she was as a commander yeah. and strategic and and uh, they might have just said yeah we want to we want to go that way yeah and the, what's, it, it's kind of it's interesting because you can watch that they're each independently susceptible to trauma um to um to the the um issues that may arise because of their own experiences um yeah, yeah. um consequences, consequences of, uh, of being yep. in the war like uh, like um oh slick you know that uh, mm -hmm. that one lieutenant in the in the army uh, betrayed them yep uh, was legitimately ratting out uh, their movements to the to the enemy or uh, who Jerk. was the, who was the one in the episode where they uh where Rex got shot and was being kept at a farm, and it turns out that the farmer's the farm oh, farmer defected. was a was had to, was a defected clone. Was a defected clone, yeah. I don't remember who shot him, uh, but it was then Lock the, Queen. Lock Queen. Well, then there was the Lock other Queen. one who cut Lock Queen. That's his name. The other one who defected um, and uh, was was uh, working with the separatists or the droid army uh, during that huge battle. What was his name? I can't remember. Anyways, they found him out. He was a commander of a battalion, and he betrayed his guys. Um, was it slick? It was slick. It was slick. I'm it's, thinking it's, of the same it sounds thing. like slick. Yeah, think, very, very early. It was like yeah. the first story arc. Yeah, it was. It very, was in. The, it was in the movie. Slick. It was slick. No, it wasn't in the movie. No, it was in. A, it was in episodes. Let me explain why that was a confusion for me. I'm <sighs> I'm rewatching Clone Wars right now, but I'm watching it 
chronologically. If you go to StarWars.com or just do a, a search for Star Wars Clone Wars chronological order. I'll put a link down below. Good. Look, check, click on the link and you'll be able to go to a, a page on the Star Wars website that actually Mind lists blown. all of the episodes of Clone Wars as they occur in chronological order because the released schedule yeah. was not in chronological order. It jumped around a fair bit. Yep. Yeah. And uh, it's very cool to watch it that way, honestly. I've been I'm about halfway through. It really through. is, but then that's but then I get confused thinking, yeah. okay, the whole slick thing happened earlier than it actually did. Yeah. Yeah, uh, because yeah, the Domino Squad was like season 3 or something. It was like 3 uh, season 3 episode 16. Yeah, it was way late. I'm going, "Wait a minute. These guys have been <laughs> yeah. fighting like I don't know. It was weird, but mm -hmm. uh, it's a cool way to watch it. Yeah. I think. So they had uh, they had these guys. They had uh, Ahsoka had five of first. We got Maul, uh, Anakin. Should we throw it out there like the timeline where the season seven falls in? Do it. The films? I mean, if it's pretty. Yeah. It's let's uh, let's talk about connections. Connections. So season seven going to connect. One hundred percent takes place in the middle of episode three, Revenge yes. of the Sith. It's in the middle. So are we going to see Order sixty six? Are we going to see um, Anakin and the temple, the Jedi temple, like slaying all the younglings and what happened in there? What are we going to see? Uh, we see uh, a pregnant Padme uh, there, which I thought was kind of funny. Some I saw some kind of review that said this is a uh, slightly pregnant Padme. I'm like, how do you? Are you slightly pregnant? You're either pregnant or you're not. <laughs> One of the, I just thought that was weird. But um, I get their point. But yeah, it's, it's a weird like, way to word you're like, it. You're, no, that's that's how it works. Um, you look so, a little bit pregnant there. Well, <laughs> yeah. I'm all the way pregnant. She, uh, <laughs> she looks like one baby, not two. <laughs> one baby, not two, right? So we got Padme in there. Uh, Anakin's definitely got the longer hair, like he does in Episode Three, mm -hmm. uh, and the little. The, it's just I can't wait to see everything goes on. A lot on. of sound bites from Episode Three. Sound bite. The Mace Windu sound bites uh, in the trailer is actually from Episode Three. Uh, Ahsoka quotes uh, Mace Windu and, and the trailer that from episode three. So it's, it's clearly taking uh, place there, which is going to, it's almost going to open up. It's going to make like episode three almost an entirely new movie. I think that what we're going to see there is um, is what you're it's what you're describing. The the two stories are going to parallel, mm -hmm. but I don't think we're going to see a lot of the stuff that happened in Episode Three. We are going to see Order sixty six take place mm -hmm. from Ahsoka's perspective. Right. So, which so tells may, us so maybe it's going to tell us the story of maybe we're actually going to see um, Rex. Right uh, and, um, and and fighting and that order like yeah. like seeing all the because in uh, when the order sixty six goes on we didn't see Rex no? we saw Cody right That's Cody right. turns around and tries to shoot on Kenobi uh, saw uh, you know Yoda knocking off some some of his guards they didn't still do great well. yeah still great yeah. they didn't they didn't uh, fare well in that battle but no, um, they didn't. so we've got all the stuff but this tells us that during episode three uh, Ahsoka is clearly a part of this. Uh, I, I don't know how they're going to mix those two. I, I don't know. Because in the uh, act, live action films, Ahsoka's not part of it. Nope. So, but she clearly is. I, I don't know. I don't know how they're going to do it. I have no idea. I'm excited. Well, I to think see. a lot of people have asked the question what happened to Rex? Where, why wasn't Rex in Revenge of the Sith? Why wasn't Ahsoka in Revenge of the Sith? What happened to Ahsoka during Order 66? Yep. Um, and this, it's pretty clear to me that this series is now going to answer those questions for fans. A little bit of fan service, if you will, which, you yeah. know, I'm kind of opposed to on, on, on general principle, but I think it's okay in this instance. Yeah. <laughs> so another connection <clears throat> where we see Death Watch find a young <clears throat> final foundling. Oh, are we going to see Ooh. Death Watch find... Well, because I think, you're, I think you got on there, because I think what we're going to see, and I don't know that... I think we're going to see the Siege of Mandalore yeah, referenced in Mandalorian, um, the I Purge. The Purge. I think we're going to see that in in season seven of Clone Wars. I think we're going to see that. Yeah, I'm I'm with you 100. percent So I, I think we're going to merge I, all these together. Maybe it's like I'm hoping. Please. Yeah, Let's if see. they haven't already, they should just go ahead and make yeah. that happen. But it's. Um, I think we're going to see the season, the Purge. <clears throat> I think we're going to see a possible. Well, here's. The, we don't know where uh, our our Mando man. We don't know what planet he was on. He, he thought oh, he Mando was man! Naboo. He thought he was on Naboo. So the I'm purge still, on I'm Mandalore. I'm still convinced that he's on Naboo. <clears throat> so the purge right. of Mandalore w wouldn't affect him so much, mm. uh, but the purge of uh, of Mandalore definitely had an effect on the culture, and the you know not taking the helmets off and all that kind of stuff. So I, I don't know, but I think we're going to see that, and I think we're going right. to see because of. Um, uh, last episode of Mandalorian, we're going to see the purge of Mandalore where uh, Moff Gideon grabs the Darksaber, mm. and that's where he gets the Darksaber. 
So, so is, so is Moff is Moff Gideon going to be that. in Clone Wars? In that case, we're going to have we're going to have to see Moff Gideon in the Clone Wars. I think I think we have to. That I think I he's got to pick up the that's, saber. That's going to be after Rebels, is it? Because oh, because of the he's, Empire, uh, yeah. he's part of the uh, mm. the internal F whatever they yeah. call there. Yeah, and because, being because too, we, see plenty of, we see plenty of Mandalorians with their helmets off. That's true. And we saw the Darksaber, yeah. and, and Sabine had the Darksaber. So never mind. Disregard all that. Don't know what I'm talking about. It minus was a nice five, thought. Minus five points. It was points. a nice thought. Yeah, minus, minus five, five points. points. It'd be great to see, though. Uh, well, plus we, five someday points. We, someday we got to start adding points. <laughs> right. <laughs> plus five points for a good idea. We probably ought to bring up some... Um, spoilers or something, uh, little Easter eggs that they dropped in. Yeah, the game, I wouldn't right? say they're spoilers. They're Easter yeah. eggs. Because that was master. That was definitely Master Palaba um, in that uh, in that council scene. No doubt. Um, the uh, around the uh, no table, doubt. the hollow table, and next to her was <gasps> Baby Kanan Jarrus. Doom. Move over, Baby Yoda. <laughs> Caleb Doom himself. Caleb Doom. Yeah. Battle on Caleb Doom. That's a pretty awesome yeah. thing to throw in there. Yeah. I was excited. Can man. you throw up an image of that? I can. Yeah. Actions. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool to see uh, to see uh, Kane and Jarrus next to him. Uh, it just show it just showcases how you know between between um, Filoni and um, Favreau, mm-hmm. uh, we can look forward to more of this stuff. It's happening more and more frequently. I mean, these guys are walking hand in hand through the Star Wars galaxy together. So, if you're wanting to guess what we have in store, just consider what came before. Yeah. So, if we're seeing Caleb Doom, aka Kane and Jarrus in a trailer for Star Wars The Clone Wars, who later appears and becomes a dominant figure in Star Wars Rebels, Rebels. then there's no reason not to believe that Ahsoka Tano may very well be featured in The Mandalorian. Right. Yeah, and may very well be the target that they, be? that they seek out, because his, his mission now is to deliver the child right. to a Je- the Jedi. A, a Jedi. Any Jedi I'm, will do. Any yeah. Jedi. Yeah. Any, any Force wielder. Right, exactly. Yeah, at this point. So we have no idea. Maybe they're going to try to deliver him to Ventress? If we see a live action Ahsoka in The Mandalorian, the planet will explode. Yes. It will be... Oh, man. Will it be played by Ashley Eckstein? I don't know. Who? It would be at least voiced by her. Yeah, I think that that's probably what we can expect. At least voiced by her. And uh, that would be like checkmate. I'd be like... Pfft. Yeah. Like, I'd, I'd, I'd just be like, I, I give Check up, man. I can't, I can't. I can't So do everything it. I said about fan service, I want to throw that right <laughs> out the window and just say right now, can yeah. we please just get Ahsoka Tano in live action yes. on The Mandalorian? Because I think if we could see live action Ahsoka Tano on The Mandalorian, then we have like a, a little bit of a chance of Hot Toys making us a six kill Ahsoka Tano. <laughs> Once they have a likeness to work with, all bets are off. <laughs> and I'll be like, yes, just yeah. give me the double blades, the yeah. white, white sabers, the whole Thing, just just all of it and uh and i'll, I'll be happy so <laughs> give hot toys a human face to sculpt they're like hold my beer i could i could say that like that would be that would be like the bucket list six scale figure hmm. for the collection is a sogatano which is crazy because of how the character started off and nobody liked her um uh, but this is um on point it's gonna be amazing so hot toys yeah. uh favreau filoni you guys make it happen so we just had a supplemental edition of buy me toys right there yeah, and I mean, just so yeah just to so be clear. fair to be fair though we all buy way more toys than we really need to so that uh, we i'm can, done for a while man episode. i am so done it's like oh yeah we're perfect. going to a toy store after recording this, so it's, y'all like, <laughs> it's like I'm, I'm seriously having like the toy version of a hangover right now it's ah, like right? I, yeah and it's not even done i mean I, no. you know, this week is going to be brutal for you're gonna my, be like oh man I, can't, I forgot i bought that here we go it's gonna be awesome uh uh, I've, I've picked up a couple things um, soon uh, mm-hmm. that I'm looking forward to, which I just paid off some tiles. Was this, was this one of them, or did you just no? I've had that, that one for a while. Yeah. I came out last year, so two years ago. So uh, but I got the sideshow speeder bike coming okay. to go with my scout trooper, uh, and so I'm super excited about that. So just different things. If I get an Ahsoka, and then maybe we get like a is I'm. I don't know if this is going to happen. Well, this kind of goes on later, doesn't it? Thrawn doesn't show up till later, so never mind. Throw Thrawn down. Yeah. Uh, that would be cool, too. But there, I don't know. There's so much cool stuff. And I think now's a good time to be a Star Wars fan, mm-hmm. oh, yeah. enthusiast, collector, whatever it is. Now's a good time to, to be for us. Because it felt like 2018 was like all Marvel, right? It was just yeah. Marvel everything. And as soon as the Marvel shows start dropping on Disney+, Plus, it may kind of tilt back that way for a minute. Right. I, I don't know. Until Kenobi drops. Um, but it's uh, right now Star Wars uh, fandom is it's a pretty good time to be here. 
pretty good time. So don't miss it, out on it. It just occurs to me that um, that we have the potential here. Like the whole notion of Thrawn, as I recall from the original books, was that he had been off in the unknown regions doing something for the Emperor for a long time before he came back. Correct. Yeah. So the current events that we that, that we've seen through the rise of Skywalker may indicate what Thrawn was up to, or maybe he was beginning the process of something that uh, yeah. the Emperor was. So it could very well be that they're doing more to try to legitimize the. Um, uh, what was the name of the first Thrawn book? Uh, I don't know. I haven't read it. Heir of the Empire. Heir of the yes. Empire. Yeah. It could be that may, they may be trying to bring that from the obscurity of Legends and into the uh, Disney umbrella hmm. a little bit more. So it wouldn't surprise me if we saw a little bit more of, of him there. I'd be okay with it. Yeah. You'll like see that. a different mm-hmm. crazy Jedi with him this time. Mm-hmm. Right. So what would you guys like to see in Clone Wars Season 7? What what, what are you looking for? If you, did you, or is there something specific on the trailer that stood out to you? Is there something you'd like to see happen? Is there something you hope doesn't happen? Whatever it is, let us know down below. We need to hear from you on that. Because yes. we've talked about a lot of stuff, and we know nothing other than we saw a trailer. Pure speculation, man. This is, no uh, this is armchair fandom at its best right here. We don't know. I don't it, even know if it's at its best. I, and honestly, I hope we're wrong. I yeah. hope it's something completely off the wall that we don't even see coming, except for the Ahsoka thing. I think she's awesome. Um, Darth Maul I, knows. No. Darth Maul knows. Clearly, I, I, are we going to see the Emperor again in this? Is it? I, uh, I don't uh, know. We could go on and on. It's, and just, it's crazy. Uh, what, the what ifs. Um, but uh, yeah, just uh, fill in. Start a conversation with us below, and yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll be. Uh, we'll we're, be definitely, right there with you. Uh, we're definitely going to be talking about this just like we did Mando. We're going to watch those see, those episodes, come back here, talk about them each week. So if you haven't already subscribed, now's a good time to do it. Check us out on Instagram, uh, the upcoming Java 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 YouTube channel, which these things will be placed on. And uh, so we're, we're moving along with this, but. We, uh, Still looking forward to the Java 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 coffee roast? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And uh, coffee mugs. Light side, dark side, and Bindu blends. Boom. And bar and dark. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah it's going to be it's gonna be good. So Look out, Disney. Get your lawyers ready. Boom. <laughs> we have spoken. Yeah. We have spoken. <laughs> so is that going to wrap it up right there? Yeah, sure. That's you fine. guys good? I'm good. Okay. So uh, from us... To you, uh, I guess I already said it, but uh, <laughs> we have we have spoken. Definitely spoken. See you guys. Peace out. Ken, what you been up to, man? I just got that internship with uh, the first order. Whoa! Do you, do you think that's a good idea? Stranger